What's going on everyone? Today's the day. Equip Expo day one. They currently have the dealers only expo from nine to 12 right now. So I am actually going to get some breakfast, do a little devotional. My brother's a chaplain up at the Churchill Downs racetrack. So I'm gonna go up there and see him, get some footage there. And then around noon or just before we're rolling up to the expo and it's gonna be a good day. Let's see what we see today. Okay, well, if I wanna see my brother at Churchill Downs, I gotta get there sooner. So I'm stopping at Chick-fil-A once again. Honestly, I'd have it every day for breakfast. Okay, time to get some good food. I'm intentionally carb loading for the day. You need to. So, hash browns, chicken minis, and like a grilled chicken egg white. You know, get your egg, pepper jack cheese, and put the bacon on there. Some good stuff. All right, off the Churchill Downs to get a little behind the scene tour. Pretty cool adventure before Equip inside Kentucky Downs racetrack. We're kind of in their like little community in here. It's pretty sweet. What? So explain this again. This is just a muck pit of crap, basically. It's the used toilet paper from the horses. Yeah, oh, they man. stall out. They <laughs> muck out the stalls. Oh and goodness. They put it here, and then somebody comes, picks it up, and takes it to Campbell Soup's, uh, 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 where they grow all their mushrooms and stuff. Are you serious? Yeah. So this ends up in your soup. If I could have got a ten, it's a struggle. It would be absolutely. So thirty-five degree Epsom salt fat. Yep. Chilly as it gets. Look at that. Yeah, I can do bubbles. It also has like a bubble feature, but <laughs> he's not really. It's not terrible. Is he still here? What an awesome little tour there. Filmed what I could. Now it's off to the expo for the opening keynote speaker. All right, parked at some random place. Take one. Super nice. What a plow. Yeah. I haven't. I definitely can have them. I think. I think if you're aware of it, you can you can prevent that, right? I mean, uh, yours that the slip on the All right, so they do have a recall on some. So you can look that up, or you already did. You're not in that. You're not in that part. So mine had to get recalled. I had to recall mine back. But like for me. When I look at a difficult scenario, uh, like a long, long limb over the roof, for example, or whatever, those are where I start to develop, like, what am I going to use and why? And I, I'll be honest with you, I don't have, like, a format to say this is the way to go always. It's more like, all right, well, this tree here, maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to access, like, when I get to the top, I'm going to switch over, and then I'm going to run it moving the roof because it's going to be a long walk in. That's like pretty impressive it. down there. Yeah, you're using moving. I want to be able to find as long as I want. And so I incorporate whatever I need. But this, there's ways around that. Obviously, you know how to set up like a mechanical. Pretty cool still trailer. Full of battery powered equipment. Got X mark. Always reliable here. They're getting into the battery game. Everyone is. Battery powered 
Vertex. Let's see what Skag's got. I mean, some of these mowers here, like, look at this. The rims on this thing, basically like a car. 26. These Skags are nice, though. This thing can mow down basically anything. It's like a little aerator here. I think it is. Airstorm, super nice. Check out the tines on this baby. I'll take one. <laughs> Pretty sweet, isn't it? <laughs> What's that price tag on? Freaking 13. It's actually not terribly bad. Yeah, right. I'll take one of these guys. For that price, I don't think so. A six. Wow. That's pretty awesome, though. I'll take it. is where I should be right now. Cub Cadet. It's similar to my mower, except this is an EFI. This is literally the mower I have. Pro X 660 right here. Same engine, I think. when I'm going to be getting next year or something like this. There it is, Grandstand. Revolution. It certainly is a revolution. We got the Cujo booth here. They got some decent shoes. I haven't bought a pair of these guys in a while, but... They're nice. Let's really tell you that. You know, some of these bad boys are actually pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie, they look nice. It's a pretty nice, uh, nice machine. Stand downs. I think this is the more commercial side, yeah, commercial division. But I don't see too many bad boys up there in Michigan, but they are cool. The tires look nice. Pretty cool machine. It doesn't fall apart. Oh, that's a electric. Okay, we got Hustler here. Not many guys in southeastern Michigan uh, rock Hustler, but these are nice. Solid machine. Pretty cool. Is their commercial lineup here? If anyone wants to know. Over here by Echo. Wanted to get one of these blowers to try it out. I think this 901T is in competition with the 8560 for Red Max. Echo's 
56 volt battery system. Kind of cool. All right, we're over here at Husqvarna. One of their new yeah, robotic um, mowers there. Oh, they got a stand on. That's cool. The Red Max commercial stand on Cali engine. Go over here. I have that 8560, good blower. And the marquee signature 7500. So, what are your taxes? But if I didn't say it, I think I already did. Husqvarna makes Red Max. This thing's pretty sweet. It's a brine system. <laughs> Goodness sakes. <laughs> I would like to get one of these. A little leaf pusher you can make one yourself, but this is pretty cool. Got down a grandstand there, multi force. JRCO. Pretty nice. Oh, this is pretty cool too. A hooker aerator. <laughs> it's literally called hooker. We got it on an X mark. Fine rake the thatcher there. Well, this is the future right here, isn't it? <laughs> RC mower. Walking over to Billy Goat here. I would like one of these Z3000 blowers, but I don't need one. These are meant for like, you know, guys who have big commercial lots. Unless you get one for free, but I would get a leaf loader, not that Dragon, which is I think eight grand, but this would be cool to have too. But Billy Goat makes some good stuff. There we go, right, sure can. I like these guys, I do have my sector 14 gallons, but you can never Go around with the shirt Over here, we don't have one now. Yeah, so when you when you push that down, bench right there. My dealer at Wine Guards carries mean green mowers. They're definitely cool. Don't need it yet for 30 grand. Unless I hit the lotto. Checking out these guys, Fisher Burton. They got blades here, guys. The mower blade that cuts itself. Kind of cool. Check them out. Check out this Green Pro trailer, guys. It's pretty sweet. I like the flooring on this. It's like deck flooring. It's pretty awesome. That grasshopper over here. These actually look pretty sweet. I actually like that look. It's a classic look. Check out this mower manufacturer, Last Tech. This is pretty, pretty crazy. Some of these, I mean, looking at highway mowers or something like that, but it's pretty sweet. <laughs> wow. Simple. I take this for a mowing truck over in close trailer. Save gas. And then so Look at this Dixie chopper. It's a Talon RC. Pretty awesome. Vanguard EFI 28 horsepower. You know, I've never actually used a Dixie Chopper, but I kind of like how they're built. They go fast. I think they hug hills pretty well, too. So That's this Excalibur, and then you got a classic one over here this guy's talking to him about it. It takes all that side load off the pumps, makes the pumps live forever. We put a five year 3000 now on the pumps, T box, and the it's one of those tried and true systems that we kind of believe in. If you're used to the way that this kind of drives, that's the only thing you can do is this. Kind of and we're over here.
here at Spartan. Man, just look at that. It's pretty cool. Beefy spindles there. Gonna stand on. I don't know if that's electric. I think it is. Super nice. I don't think I've showcased any of the Gravelys yet, but they seem to be pretty good machines for the people that I know that have them. And other people said they don't like the Gravelys, but this one looks pretty solid. It's a 72. He's walking around, so he's flat out trolling. Uh, so your left hand, see how your elbow's here? If you're trying to go sideways... Arm wrestling match with Gravely. You better fall off the table. So get up here and here. Now I'm going to show you all something else. It's a good little trick. Wait, just a second. Turn. Show us your range of motion in your arm. All right. He was just asking what the strain is on the body. See, that's his left arm. That's his right arm. That's as straight as it'll go. Oh, really? Now, touch your face. ready? Can't touch his face. My arm's been fractured over 70 times because I was too stubborn to quit. So I just get these crazy horrible matches. I'm like, well, I'll just try to pin them. And my arm, my elbow would just fracture, and fracture, and fracture. And fracture. <laughs> so this is the point of my elbow, and this is all bone growth from fractures. Doctors, every X-ray I had in my elbow, they're like, the last guy, not every, but the last guy's like, dude, do you mind if I frame that? I'm not saying anything like that. Before. Yeah, he's like, that's the most ridiculous thing. Like, Your arm looks like what I would spend the 300 year old man's arm. Like. I've never seen an elbow that bad. I don't understand how you have musculature in your arms because I don't have a functioning joint. But it's just, okay, so, uh, yeah. If you were to pick something up off the ground, right? Which one's better? Right? So use this to push off of it. Yeah, because you want back pressure, right? Imagine a tug of war. Right here. So a lot of people just put their hand here and don't do anything with it. But if you want extra back pressure, you push off this. Okay. Right. So I'm just gonna let you jump on it and I'm gonna back three. Ready, go. And I'm gonna push here. Go ahead. Here comes the back pressure. So it's just a, a, an application, like you have one muscle group you're using, and then I'm activating multiple muscle groups, right? That's a lot. Here we go guys, we got John Deere. You know, I always thought these were decent mowers. I think they actually cut pretty well too for commercials. I'd prefer a stand on, but they're pretty nice. Got a stand on here. It's pretty nice. To help us do the job. Hopefully, you're 60 here. Walk behind. Looks like an accelerator side catch there. Another one. We're at the mulch mate booth. This thing is pretty awesome. I'd love to get one of these. You know, I don't need it though because I don't do enough mulch. So, but catch this on your truck and you convey your belt the mulch off. Kawasaki. Eight twenty V EVO. Big block. So take that. What machines are they? Right now. Checking out Bobcat here. Super solid. My uncle ha actually has that stand on mower over there. Is it the Z4000 or whatever it is? I don't even get it right. Z4000. Yeah. Solid machine. Yeah. But the one on that seat, you know, it's a snippet, and it's out of safety if people are doing that. 
And we're a two-inch wide belt where they're only an inch and a half. So now you can really stay on the tip and get the tip square. Because you're on more of the, the blade. And what happens is that edge starts to roll and then it, it starts to go through it and curve back in. Yep. It takes that edge out. And then going one step further. Now here we're set up at 35 degrees, but this is now water cooling. Now take note how much quieter this is. <laughs> okay? The water is not only cooling, it's taking care of the dust. It's allowing you to push harder because it's cooling so you don't have to worry about burning. And the water also knocks the noise down quite tremendously. And it makes the abrasive last way longer. We got a balancer here. This guy's going to show me how it works, guys. So, yeah, a brand here, new blade, yeah. This slides in and out for the ever diameter of the blade you're doing. Okay. You put this onto the cone, bring that magnetic chuck forward, it holds the blade, and the heavy end falls. Well, there you go. So, it's brand new blade, not, not in balance. And then here, if you look from the side, you can see if the blade is bent. So, from this side, oh. you can see the distance between this tip and the tracking rod. Yep. And then bring it around, and you can see if the blade is bent. Pretty sweet. <laughs> so that's the main thing there. And then obviously the heavy end, you remove more material off of the heavy end. There you go. <laughs> and then the worse or the faster it drops, the worse it is out of balance. So oh, this one sakes. is not terrible, no. but I would still fix it. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, this blade, who knows what happened to this one. <laughs> and I don't see how well balanced. Look at that thing. You know, that one is horribly out of balance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you can also tell there's far more material here than here. Yeah, this one was resharpened lots and lots. one side and that, that was a... Yeah, but this gives you that, that idea of how fast it will tell you immediately that's the heavy end. There you go. You don't have to wait for it to fall. You see this, take material off of this end. And then just see if it's bent again. You just sure. turn it so around this, and this then comes down line it up with for the, whatever the length blade is. Yeah, okay. You make sure there's a little gap there, and then we yeah. come back around. I want to hit your camera. Oh, that's right. And then if here, a different gap. Then you know it's bent, right? Correct. <laughs> and there goes the heavy end. Take a couple passes, and then we'll check the blade again. Now it's, yeah, it's a, take, a look at that, so. take another pass or so, and that's about it. If you wanted to, but I would consider this blade balanced. Check it out, the Ferris Z2E. That's cool. Still prefer gas, but look at this thing. I forgot about Ferris here, guys. Pretty sweet blower. These machines have great suspension, but they're really heavy. Now here we go. This is it. Z3X, solid. It's a solid machine. Get a Vanguard EFI, 37 horsepower. Really just get this, you can probably cut down anything. Oh, this is comfortable. This is nice, really nice. I think you hardly have to change the oil there with that, literally. It's like every, it's every like 500 hours or something crazy like that. 61. Get on. First and foremost, what everybody's here for, I know it's not us, for the free beer, right? Yep. <laughs> Who doesn't like free beer? I don't personally drink anymore, but when I did, I liked free beer. Okay, so you can get a free beer back here. The girls are around here, they have little tickets. Okay, whenever you take those tickets, 
You put them in this little basket up here, you're gonna get entered into a giveaway, which is a nice lawn chair that I believe is right over here. Oh, they moved it on me. So right over here. So one of you are gonna get to win that. Also. Is that drawing at 415? 415? 415 we're doing that drawing. So make sure you get a beer fairly quick, okay? <laughs> Anyways, we have the QR code back here on this banner right next to this good looking gentleman right here. I see you back there. You guys can get signed up for the Echo Means business. They also have a hashtag over here. If you sign up and use that hashtag and post anything to your personal page, and then you go to the rally and you do it over there as well, you actually get entered in for a starter pack to win a, a piece of equipment. I think it's a chainsaw. 90-10. 90-10? Yeah, 2620. Nice. Some safety glasses, gloves, stuff like hair protection. All kinds of different starter things. Kit. So make sure you guys use that hashtag. Make sure if you go over to the rally, use that hashtag there as well. Just on your personal page, hey, we're here, we're getting it done, having fun, talk about what you're doing. Hope you guys are all enjoying the event. They also got popcorn up here. Make sure you guys are just talking to everybody. It's very rare that we all get to be in the same room and get to be around people that are in the same exact thing as we are, which is lawn care, landscaping, equipment, snow removal, whatever it is. Have a great time. We're gonna be here for the next couple hours. Please come up, say hi to us. We're just normal people like everybody else who chooses the film stuff, put it online. You guys ready to have a good time? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Thank you, Echo News Business. Let's start off just by saying hi. We got Spencer Lawn Care here. East Canton, Ohio, guys. It's only about three and a half hours away in the Metro Detroit area, so okay. it's cold. We got TQ. I tried to turn my wife into a TQ, but it didn't work. So. No. He was telling, he was telling me this last night. He's like, hey, I, I, I tried to get my wife out there, turn her into TQ. He's like, it just, it didn't work, bro. Did she at least try it? She did try it two summers ago. She's a, a Spanish teacher for a Christian school. We okay. actually bought her an Echo Whip, and she couldn't quite figure out how to use it. And you're scalping stuff. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> a lot of practice. It, it is what it is. So, but Savannah, I tried. So I'm like, yeah. No, at least she tried. I was though. trying to push her in. I'm like. If Sean and Savannah can do it, then why? It's not for She's everybody. not mechanically inclined to do it, but I'm like, whipping's not rocket science, but there's an art to it. I'm there right. is. There, there is. It's a big it's art a little to bit it, of so. time. Yeah. Stick with it. A couple of years. Winner of the chair. What? Everybody take a picture of him now. Luckily, I think the mower, the mower didn't, the 30-inch mower didn't fit in my Fiesta, but this might.